Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial on generating an RDO report as a password protected PDF in ASP.NET Core using the Bold Reports Report Writer. The Bold Reports Report Writer is a reporting tool used to export RDL reports directly into widely used file formats such as PDF, Word, CSV, and Excel without previewing the report on a web page. I have already installed the .NET SDK in my machine to create an ASP.NET Core application with Visual Studio Code. So, let's start with the application creation. I run this command in the command prompt to create an application by name of invoice PDF generator. Once the application is created, I need to install the NuGet packages to add the necessary dependencies to the application. For that, I change the current working directory to the application root folder. Next, I add the boldreports.net core package to the application. This NuGet package contains all the dependency packages to add the bold reports report writer to the application. Next, I create a resources folder in the www root folder of my application to store the RDL reports. For this video, I'm going to use the invoice report RDL file already available to me, which I place in the resources folder. You will find the invoice report RDL files downloadable link in this video's description. Once the sample report is added to the application, I need to add the API methods to generate the exported document in the controller. To do that, I open the home controller.cs file from the controller folder and add the boldreports.web and boldreports.writer namespaces to the controller file, making the report writer directly accessible from the controller file. Next, I add this infusion.pdf.security namespace, which provides the functionality to apply security features to PDF documents. To read the report file from the application, I use a web hosting environment with dependency injection, Next, I add the export method with an HTTP POST action for exporting the invoice associated by using invoice ID. In the export method, we are going to read the report file as stream to use it in the report writer. I have accessed the already added report using the report path and copy the file stream to the memory stream. This copy process will be helpful to avoid file access problems in the server while running the application on it. Next, I create a new instance of the report writer class and load the report into it using the memory stream. I have to generate the report based on the invoice ID number. So, I create a parameter list for the report and assign the invoice ID parameter value to the report using the set parameters. Here, the name value should be the same as the parameter name in the report. My report already has this parameter. Next, I create an instance of the PDF Options class to configure the security settings that control the behavior of PDF generation process. The PDF Security class is used to define the security-related options for a PDF document that control the actions permitted on the document. Then. I assign values to the user password property to set the password for the PDF document. Then, I generate the PDF using the save option and specify the PDF format. The generated PDF report will be in stream, which will be provided for the file result stream to download by the client. On downloading, the file result stream will read the stream again for the process, so the stream position is set back to zero after the save action of the report writer. Next, I implement the options on the client side to generate the invoice report based on the provided invoice ID. This application is going to have a text box to get the invoice ID and a button to download the PDF of the invoice. 
I open the index.cshtml file in view slash home folder. I already have the code to build this UI. I add the code by removing the existing code. I have used the HTML form for this application, so I have mapped the export API with HTML. The parameter will automatically bind to the form action on this. Now, let me run this application. You can see the option to enter the invoice ID and the generate button. I enter an invoice ID and click generate. The PDF generates from the API and is available on the client. I open the PDF. It requires the password to view the file. So, I input the password and view it. In this video, I have shown you how to generate an RDL report as a password protected PDF in an ASP.NET Core application using the Bold Reports Report Writer. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.